This video will cover the basic principles for installing weld mount fasteners in your project. First thing to do is determine before you start where you want your fasteners located. Not a bad idea to put a magic marker spot on each location. Then it's a good idea to check the surface cleanliness in each area where you want to put the, the fastener. I always recommend a minimum of a solvent wipe and in many cases, particularly on metal substrates, some Scotch-Brite to remove surface oxides is recommended. To install the fastener, you take the tube of adhesive and remove the cap, setting it aside, because you're going to want to use it to reseal the tube again later. Insert the cartridge into the gun and click it locked into place. Then you position the mixing tube to the end of the cartridge and twist it 90 degrees to lock it with the bayonet fitting. With a new tube of adhesive, it's always important to take the first bit of adhesive and dispense it either into the garbage or into a plastic bag to make sure there are no air voids in place. Once you've got it flowing cleanly, you take the fastener and put about a 3 8 dot onto the back of the fastener Set the gun aside. Now you take the fastener, hold it up, and bed it, and gently twist it into place until you see the adhesive coming out around all edges. And there you have it. A couple other rules of thumb. Our adhesives are gap filling to a quarter of an inch, so they work well on re relatively uh, irregular and rough surfaces. One tube of adhesive generally will mount approximately 150 to 200 parts. You want to remember that as you mix the adhesive, it's setting up in this tip. And so what happens is if you don't keep the adhesive flowing, it'll set up and you'll need to put a new tip on. So it's generally a good idea to pre-clean and pre-locate all your parts so you only need to use one tip per installation. When you're done with the installation, you remove the tip. And this next step is quite important. The cartridge has side-by-side -side discharge, and you want to take the edge of the tip, the bayonet fitting, and actually clean it downwards. If you clean from side to side, you'll tend to cross-contaminate the tube of adhesive. And then you want to put the cap right back on and reseal. The Generally speaking, the glue is reusable as long as parts A and part B haven't mixed and cross-contaminated. 